Hello everybody, this is Bonnie B. Hawkins uh, Creative TV and on today's episode we are going to be working with the Corn Road Wig Cap. Okay, that's the Corn Road Wig Cap. Wig cap. Now I want to start off by saying, uh, you see the fronter part of this wig cap? This is an opening here because this is a uh, uh, open front and this, what this does, it gives you the option to pull your own hair through uh, on the front part if you choose to, or create a um, a, a, a closure partial, which um, I will show you later on how that works. Okay, but this is the cap that I am using. Will be using. This is the cap you just seen. This is the cap. I'm going to set it this here. Or maybe here somewhere. I, anyway, but this is the cap that I'm referring to. As you can see, it's a beautifully designed wig cap. And if you notice, the um, you can see through it. So if you wear this cap, your scalp will be able to breathe uh, breathe uh, through. Okay. It has uh, somewhat of an elastic um, thing here. So when you put it on, you've got the... You've got a uh, the give the stretch, okay. It has uh, two of these things on the bottom to uh, to help you so that you're got one of these on each side, and this is to so you can adjust. It's an adjustable scrap, okay, and uh, on each each side, and um, the, it's a very nice cap, and it's a. Like I said, your scalp be able to breathe. It is a, a design, designed to fit larger size heads as well as a regular medium size edge. edge. I don't think it's such thing as a regular size, by the way, because God created us all. But, um, and, and we're all regular. Okay, if that's the case. But anyway, this is the, the cap I'm referring to. And again, this is the packet that it came in. It was very reasonable. I got it at one of my local beauty supplies stores. I'm thinking I paid, oh there it is, this is what I paid for it. I'm going to put it close enough where you can see. Okay, that's what I paid for it at Beauty Max for $9.99. Okay, and on the back of course it shows you how you can how you can uh, do different things with it. And again, this is the, the wig cap. Okay, and this is what I'm going to be using. Now what I'm going to do, this is the part actually where I was telling you that you can, um, this is the part where I was saying that you can um, put the, uh, use your, put your own hair through there, you know, um, and, uh, and fold it over or have a way you want to do it. Okay, and so what do you do with this cap? You can, you can add, um, cornrows, which is what I'm going to do. You can add cornrows to this, or you can uh, add weave, regular weaving and make uh, straight hairstyles or whatever with it. Uh, but I'm going to be using it for, um, and I'm going to show you in a second what, I'm, what I'll be using it for. As a matter of fact, if you're looking on the table here, you can see what I'm going to be using it for. Okay, so this is, um, again, uh, the hair uh, Thing. What I'm going to, to do, I'm going to uh, forego uh, uh, leaving it open and adding hair. What I'm going to do, I am going to stitch, I'm going to stitch this together like so. So it can be one, cons one consecutive uh, hair, uh, you know, uh, cat, wig cat. Without the closure, I'm going to close the area up. I'm going to stitch. I got my needle and thread here, okay, and I'm going to I'm going to sew this stitch this up. Okay, now I have to get directly into what else we're, how we're going to work this project. Okay, so forgive my hands. They, as I said, my hands are rough, and I, I may polish my nails so at least to make them look a little presentable. But whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, thank God I have hands. But anyway, um. Here we go. So we're going to, this is the hair we're going to be using. Uh, okay. 
And I usually like to, because of the dyslexia that I have, I usually like to show people what I'm doing rather than just reading it out. So you can see what we're working with right here. Okay, this is, uh, you see what it says, right? It's full, it's full fiber, and of course it comes in this bundle. I only paid, I got this actually at my local Goodwill. Someone had took the hair back. You know, you can find hair sometime at your local Goodwill store, and you can bypass uh, your uh, particular uh, beauty supply store that you're going to. Because they have all types of stuff in there. So I only paid $4.99 and, and for this at the local Goodwill. And, uh, of course, this is a crocheted hair. The hair is already, uh, this already, um, here, you know, it's already put together. And, uh, I'm going to show you, okay. And this is a brown tone. Actually, let's see, how do we do this? Turn it this way where you can see. But then the numbers are, no, the numbers are not upside down right there. But you can see the numbers right there. That's the, something. that is the, um, um, it's a number 30. It says T1B30. Okay. And these are already twists. These are twist braids. They are already twist. And they already have the loop in the top to start the, uh, the crocheting effect. And I will show you guys that as I do the video. As I start installing the pieces. And I've got a black. And I've got this uh, shade of brown, as you can see. And... Uh, and let's see, where's the number on that one? See, that says 1B. So 1B would be black. Okay? Okay, so this is 1B. And then this, of course, as, as I showed you, or let's flip it over this way. Let's put them side by side. So, so the one is 1B shade, and the other one, as you can see right here, is 30. It says Looks like T1B dash uh, forward slash uh, 30. And uh, these, this is what I'm planning on using. Now, look. I might spice it up a little bit. So you guys keep your eyes on this project. Because guess what I may do? I may cornrow a few strips of this blonde hair. And make a few braids to uh, put on there also. And uh, this blonde color, I don't know what the number on the, uh, as far as the, the number on it is concerned. But anyway, I'll be using this. I may use some of this. I may not use it on this one. But this is the braiding. Oh, the, I think that's the number right there of the shade. But you guys don't quote me on that. But anyway. All right. So this is what I'll be, I may use incorporate a few pieces okay and this is what I'm going to do okay I can do this and I may not do it I don't know I can apply um, one of the put one of the wig caps on first because I'm going to do this on a homemade mannequin that I put together and I'm going to show you guys that right now hold on just a second okay let me see if I can get it in, in, um, in the camera somewhat I have to take it off the wig stand. Okay, here it is. So this is what I did. I made this homemade uh, a wig, a wig mannequin. I'm going to lay it down so you can see it in the camera. And see, I, I'm going to show you process of how I actually did this. Because this cat, let me take it off to show you. This is a small mannequin head. To me, it's small for, for my head, my size head, right? And so, and I made... This is just the book cat to fit my size, size of my head. Now you see the difference? Okay, that's the size of my head with the cap on, as you can see it. That's the size of my head. Okay, and this, of course, again, is the size of the mannequin head. So you see why I had to make a mannequin uh, cap. And I'm going to show you guys, in the, like I said, in the future video how to do that. That way you can uh, do all your work and you're styling on the mannequin head. You can take it off, take the the, uh, the thing off of the mannequin and put it on your uh, on your head. Like this. Such. See, you can put this 
the, once you do the, the, the wig cap and get it all done and the wig is finished, you can put it on, you can, of course, style it on the mannequin head, which is what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to show you it on my head as I model my work. Okay, so God bless you all. At this point in time, I don't think it's nothing else I need to cover right now, but in a future video, I will show you how I made this mannequin, uh, made this uh, cat to fit my head. Okay, alrighty, so I'm going to cut off this little portion of the video. If I forgot anything, I'll come back and let you know. But this are the, these are the products that I'll be working with as I showed you. And the, uh, the thread to sew this together uh, top, at, top, at the top. Of course, you need your scissors and you need clips. I got a couple of clips over here, like this one is good for, for clipping the hair as you go along so that you won't have and also, um, the needles, uh, the crochet needle that I'll be using, I haven't quite made my mind up. I have two of them here. I have this one. Let me move. Can I move this other stuff out of the way right now? Okay. I have uh, two types of crochet needles. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on just one second. Okay, so I got this type of crochet needle and this type of crochet needle. And I'm going to explain them. This one has the lash. And you just stick it in the, in the, um, your project into there. And you got to make sure the whole thing goes through. I find it easier to turn it over as, when you put it through and to turn it back over when you're pulling it back out. But anyway, you would do that and then you would put your hair onto it. Your piece of hair onto it. And then you would pull it, you would pull it back. Okay. I can show you one real quick how I will be doing this. But of course this will be sitting on a mannequin head stand when I do it. But uh, I'll be taking these locks. I'm going to open the pack up real quick for you guys. Okay, just a second if I can get it open um, quick enough. Because <clears throat> I don't want this little, even this little piece of video I have to edit because and otherwise this little, even this little piece would be too long. Okay, so these are the locks I was referring to that comes in this pack. I need my scissors. I'm going to cut that, the string off of the thing that's holding in, in the bundle together. And what I would be doing, I'll put, take a dreadlock, I'll take one of these out. Now you notice something about these. They have their little opening at the top. I'm going to use this to show you. They have their little opening at the top where you would put the, you would put the hair through. Okay. And, uh, and of course, then you, it would lock in, the hair would lock in, and then you pull it out, back out. Let me just do one, and then I'll have to cut the video off so I can get my project started for you guys. Okay. Um, like for this, for example, here is the hair. And what you would do, I'm just going to use a piece, you would insert your hook if you're using this particular one. Okay, and you... But take it through the hair, the corn roll. You would take this, the piece that I just showed you of the hair. You would make sure that it's setting in the in this little thing right here. Make sure that this is, is closed back up. The lash is closed back up. Then what I like to do is to, at this point, flip it over and then pull it through. Okay, so you would pull the hair through. Now, once you get the hair through, you will have to, so that the hair will stay in, you will have to, to um, lock it in like such and then pull that through. Okay, and then the hair would be through, see? And this is your first cornrow. Okay, and so I'm going to turn this off now because I want to make sure that I... Um, actually do a video for you guys. And this, again, this is another type of lash also. This one is great also. So you could use this one if you choose to. Okay. All right. And this one is the same process. You take it through. The difference with this one, it doesn't have that lash, that hook lash on it. The other one has a hook lash. And you would pull that, put your hair on it, wrap it around, pull it through, and then, you know, and then you, 
I will show you. So, okay. So, we're going to, uh, at this moment, uh, cut this video off and get started. So, uh, okay. And uh, if I forgot anything else, I will show you in another, in another video. Okay. Or at the end of this one, if I edit it. Okay. All right. So, I'm, we're about to get started. I'm all excited because this will be my very first time doing it. Okay, putting that together. Okay, so God bless you all. And stay tuned right now because we're about to do it. I'm about to do the um, the hair, um, the actual finished product. And I'm going to show you from start to finish how I do that. And then I'm going to uh, model it in, a, uh, in another video clip. But you will see portions of that on this clip because I will add little pieces of it on this clip. And then you will go to, to see it, you will have to go to the actual video uh, to actually see those videos in, in their full and enti entirety. Again, this is Bonnie B. Hawkins. Okay, and I was going to do something with these fingernails of mine. So in the video on portions of it, you may see where I actually take a break and go and put nail polish on my nails and come back and finish the project. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But God bless you all. This is Bonnie B. Hawkins from the Bonnie B. Hawkins well, Creative TV. Let's take all right. And go into here and flash it. 